the wait is over. It's game time on WZOT 101.9. This is Rock Mart High Football, presented by the Nathan Dean Agency, Armor Realty, Fast Track Car Wash, John Purser Allstate, 101 Church, Michael Tenney Main Street Realty, Dean Presley Floyd, Pascal Lawn Care Service, Floyd Medical, Brad Graham and Taylor Transport. All right, we're here in Franklin, Georgia, getting ready for the Jackets to take on the Heard County Braves. And the Jackets are coming on the field, just coming through the run through. I don't know what it says right now, but I got somebody going to send me a picture. Got a big run through tonight, guys. Yeah, tonight's captains for the game is number five, Peyton Morris, senior. Number 58, Matthew Waddell, senior. Number 68, Deacon Allen, senior. And number 80, CC Briscoe. Rob Mark dressed in the away white uniforms tonight. White pants, white shirts with the black numbers. Wearing the white helmets with the wing T on them. Heard County in the dark gray pants. And the burgundy shirts, burgundy helmets, their home uniforms. Heard County Braves. About to kick it off to Rockmart. Rockmart won the toss, selected to put their offense out there first. Score. And so uh, want to keep the ball probably as long as possible and get points on the board first and put pressure on the Heard County offense. Maybe it will be successful, that plan. Uh, Rockmart set to receive. Nice. Heard County is kicking off. We're on the hometown side over here on the, uh, the Heard County field. And uh, looking down at the field, Heard County kicking off from our right to our left. Back deep to receive for Rockmart. Looks like uh, Javen Watley standing back at the five-yard line. Juke Boozer is right in, just in front of him, along with another number that is hard for us to see. We are a long way from that end of the field. We are on about the 10-yard line. On the end where Heard County's kicking off, the kicker gets his foot in the ball. It's a high short kick fielded by Javen at the 20-yard line. He comes toward the sideline, 30, cuts inside, gets through the first tackle and gets down at about the 20, 35-yard line, just short of that, 34-yard line. So a pretty good run by Javen, about a 14-yard return on that kick. And we are blocked here by a big light standard. (laughs) And so it is hard to see uh, from where we are when the ball's on that end of the field. Rockmart will come to the, to the ball first. In, uh, got the quarterback in the shotgun, going to put two receivers wide right, one to the left. Javen waiting on the snap, got his, his tight end split out just a little bit to the right. One wing back, he's on the right side. No back in the backfield with him other than the wing back. The wing back goes in motion to the left. Javen going to run. He's under pressure. He's going to throw, rather. He's under pressure. Throws it long to Juke Boozer, who's wide open at the 20-run Juke. And he's down at the five-yard line. Boozer looked back at the defender and should have kept running. He caught that ball perfectly. Thrown ball. Javen ran to his right. Scrambled to his right. Eluded the tackler. And threw the ball on the run. To his right, long pass downfield from the 34-yard line. Juke caught it at about the 20 and almost got in the end zone. A guy got him by the ankles at the four. Rockmart will have it on the right hash on the four-yard line. Juke now wide left. He's got two backs in the backfield with him. One of them is Gardner, the freshman. Javen going to run it. Quarterback keep follows a blocker into the end zone. Yes. He crossed the goal line. He had a pulling guard over there with him. Number 55 for Rockmart. Sherman Davis, a junior, pulled to the left and uh, opened up a hole for Javen. Javen cut inside of him at about the two-yard line. And Rockmart scores here with less than a minute run off the clock. That was a McNabb tire touchdown there. Javen just pounded it in the end zone. The scoreboard says 11.04 on the clock. There's the snap. The kick is up. The kick is good. Rockmart leads this thing 7 to nothing with 11.04 on the clock. 56 seconds run off the game clock. Rockmart ahead 7 to nothing. What a throw from Javen Watley. He threw that ball on the run. 
Under pressure. Under pressure. A long way. He was at about the 30-yard line when he let go of the ball. He threw that ball about 50 yards in the air on a perfect strike to Juke Boozer, who caught it. He had to slow down just a little bit to catch it. He had about three steps on the defender, and he could not accelerate fast enough to get into the end zone. Number seven for uh, Heard County caught him at the four-yard line, Ashton Bonner. Rock mark to kick now. That was a 62-yard touchdown, I mean, a reception by Juke Boozer. That's 62 yards after the run was added on to the end of the catch. This is our John Purser All-State kickoff. And uh, Cooper Janzetich to kick now from our left to our right. The ball spotted at the 40-yard line. This is the one area of the game that we've struggled with so far this season is kickoff coverage. Janzetich hears the whistle now, gets his foot into the ball, kicks it. High, long kick, fielded at the four-yard line. They bring it to the left. Got some running room. We make first contact at the 24, and he goes down. Number 27 for Yellow Jackets, Dalvin Milholland, Jr., defensive back, wide receiver, made a good open field tackle there. The ball will be spotted at the 24, 20-yard run return. Pretty good job by the kick coverage team. Yeah, that was good. Uh, kind of got him over here on this uh, this uh, left-hand side and kind of pushed him on out to the side so that he didn't have as much room to run there. Bottled him up toward the sideline on that John Purser All-State kickoff. Heard County in the I formation with a receiver wide right. Quarterback under center, you don't see that much. He handed that off to his tailback who's got a big hole going left. He stiff arms a man at the 40 yard line and he's out of bounds at the 46. And that is a big run through a big hole opened up by a big offensive line. We talked about the size of those linemen, and they really pushed us off the ball there, opened up a big hole on the right side of our defensive line. We're going to have to cheat those linebackers up tonight to stop the run. They're going to line up in the eye and just try to power it at us. First and 10, Heard County at the 46. They're in the eye again. They got a wing back on the left side behind the tight end. Receiver split wide to the right. Quarterback under center gives it to his tailback again, who bounces off a tackle at the 45, spins outside, and only got a yard. He was hit immediately at the line of scrimmage by one of our defensive linemen, number 55, uh, right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle was made there by number 26 for the Yellow Jackets, Dedrick Gibson. That's Sherman Davis who made the lick. Uh, the ball carrier did bounce off of it, but he couldn't get away. It's second down and 10. Sherman Davis with two big plays so far in this ball game. That's a good good lick at the point of attack, and he's a kid who opened up the hole for Javen to get in on the, on the touchdown. I formation, two receivers to the right. Number six, the quarterback gives it off quick to the fullback. Just a quick handoff left side to the fullback, and he picked up seven yards six yards rather took it down to the 49 they've crossed midfield and it'll be third and five they give him credit for only a five yard carry that was just a quick dive play old school football handed to the fullback and let him go behind the center and pick which way is open he chose to go left that time they're on the left hash now they're going to split the running back out left side. Got a single back in the backfield. Quarterback in the shotgun gives it to that fullback. He breaks a tackle, and he got enough for the first down, I believe. Pushed it ahead six yards and picked up the first down. They do move the chains. Who's that ball carry, Michael? Rock Mark. I can't see it. I can't. I can't Comes we to got the line a- of scrimmage. They're playing with three down linemen in a 3-4 set. Got those three linebackers in, two safeties. Four linebackers. They walk one up right on the line of scrimmage. Fake Marsh, outside linebacker, right side. Quarterback under center there in the eye. He gives it to the tailback straight ahead. Straight ahead in the middle of the Rock Mart defense. And the tackle made by number 21 for Rockmark got him around the ankles, but they carried it to the 38, moved the ball ahead five yards. They're just pounding it, it ahead on us. There it is. The, that big line's just pushing, 
our guys back. That's their number six there, Jai Wright for the Braves. He's a very athletic running back and runs the ball hard. Number 24, Daquan, Daquan Banks made the tackle. Quarterback in the shotgun this time. Going to give it to the running back straight ahead. He breaks through the line of scrimmage. Outside linebacker finally came up and made the caught him from behind with help from the safety. He took it down to the 26-yard line. They're in the middle of the field. He got another first down. Rockmart leading 7 to nothing here early in the first quarter. Rockmart scored on a two-play drive to start the ball game. Heard County now threatening to score. They got it inside the 30. They got it down to the 26. That was Jai Pinson in on that tackle number one for the Yellow Jackets. And we can't see nothing right now. Heard County <laughs> comes to the line of scrimmage. They empty the they got one back in the backfield. Three receivers left side. Quarterback under center gives it to that single back. And he is down at the line of scrimmage. Got one yard out of that. It'll be second and nine. Who came flying in there and made the tackle? Number, number six. Number six. Or number five, number five. Number five. Peyton Morris. Peyton Morris came from the outside, playing outside linebacker, and came around the outside on the right, on the left side of the Hurd County line, knifed in there, and hit the ball carrier low right at the line of scrimmage. That's a good play by the senior captain tonight. They can send that same formation, three receivers left. Single back in the backfield, quarterback under center, going to pitch it to his tailback. He picked up a block from his one of those receivers, but he didn't get much. 25-yard line, picked up a yard. It'll be third and eight. That's Peyton Morris again in on the tackle there, number five. I tell you, those that uh, that middle receiver came back and laid a, a, a good crackback block on one of the Rockmark uh, defenders, but they, he had help, thankfully. Rockmart didn't let him get outside, and it's third and eight. The ball at the 24-yard line, unless they got a really good dependable kicker, they're probably in four-down uh, spot right here with, with the way they've run the ball up the middle. Quarterback in the shotgun, got a back standing right beside him. Receiver split out on both sides. They hand it to the back. He picks a hole, oh. and he's down at the 22. Hard hit by a number 12. Payne yeah. Culver at the end of that tackle. That was a huge hit by Payne there. And it's not enough for a first down. It's fourth and two, maybe three. He may remember number 12 tomorrow. Fourth and two, and they are going to go for it. The ball inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. They've got to get two more yards for a first down. This would be a big play here to get a stop. They come to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback in the shotgun again. The fullback is right behind the guard, standing right behind him. Now he moves over to the right side. Quarterback going to give it, fake the handoff, and he's going to throw it to a back out of the backfield. He completes it down at the seven-yard line. That was a tight end, rather. He just kind of released out in the left flat. Knocked the back out of the backfield. He was lined up at the tight end spot. He just released out in the left flat. We thought they had given it to the tailback. I did, and so did the Rockmark uh, linebackers. Thankfully, the cornerback came up and made that tackle. He kind of just just went off into no man's land there, and that was number one for the Yellow Jackets, Jai Pinson on the tackle. The ball's at the eight-yard line. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. They're in the I formation, Hurt County is. Quarterback in the shotgun. He's going to give it to his tailback going left. He's got a big hole, and he dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Hurt County. That's number six. The ball, number five, rather. Number six. Six? Yeah. Jai Wright. Hurt County scores with 4.15 left here in the first quarter. It's now seven to six. And uh, they're going to attempt the extra point try to tie this ball game here in the first quarter. So two different kind of drives there. One took less than a minute. They got the ball with 11 minutes on the clock, and there's 4.15 left. Low snap. We almost blocked it, but the kick's up and good. Heard County ties it with 4.15 on the clock. Makes it 7-7. to Hey, it's 
it's Mike. My team just pulled off the biggest upset ever. And some fans are getting crazy. They even flipped over a car. Turns out it's my car, though. But I don't want to be upset right now. I want to know State Farm's going to take care of this, right? We got you covered, Mike. Yes! Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Contact Mary Miller at 1340 Chattahoochee Drive in Rockmart. Hey, Rockmart. Jake Bailey here, your jacket ball boy on Friday nights. And I take my job very serious. Just like my dad and his crew over at Days Pre on Supercenter, right across from RHS. Everybody wins at Days. Tell them Jake Bailey sent you. Silver Comet Furniture, your one stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. That's Silver Comet Furniture, 678 685 4320, 2000 Cedar Town Highway in Fish Creek. Now back to the game on WZOT 101.9. All right, it's seven to seven. Score t- the score is tied with 4:15 left in the first quarter here. Rockmart scored on two plays, a long pass and a four-yard run. Heard County got it and drove it kind of methodically down the field, eating all five, six, seven yards at the time. We're not going. We're going to have a tough time stopping their run tonight. Yeah, they're they're opening up that hole right in the middle and and. He's, he's able to run right through it. They've got some big kids on the line. Hurt County to kick it off to us. Javen Watley back deep. There's the kick. High kick. Fielded at the 10-yard line. Ball carrier catches over his shoulder. Comes up field. He's going to be lucky to get to the 20. That's where he is. He ran backwards and caught that over his shoulder. He's, I don't know who the, who was that ball. Looked like number 20 there for the Yellow Jackets that caught the ball. That's uh, Jamirian Darden. So, right. Rockmar to have it first and 10, the ball at the 20-yard line, right, the nose of the ball is right on the 20. Our Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard update got Kale up 7 to nothing over Rome. Carters will up 7 to nothing over McNair in here. Tied up here in Franklin, Jacket 7, Heard County 7. Javen in the shotgun, got a back in the backfield with him, one back. He moves him over to the right side. That's Makai Floyd. He's going to give it to him, fake the handoff to him. Javen going to keep it, gets outside, got a blocker, gets across the 35, and he's down to the 40-yard line, and they throw a flag. I believe it's going to be an illegal block downfield. Hopefully it will be enough for a first down. There is an illegal block, I'm pretty sure, unless somebody grabbed his face mask. There was an, uh, he had receivers blocking for him downfield. One of them might have got his hands on the outside, and he's going to be called for holding. It is holding against Rockmark, and that'll take it back. They'll mark it off from the 39-yard line, I believe. That'll take it back to the 29. It'll be first and, and one. First and one. That's a big run by Javen, a, a 20-yard run that is negated by a holding penalty on the receiver who was blocking downfield. He got his hands outside the cornerback who was trying to get it away and get the, make the tackle. But it's first and one. This is a prime time to take a shot downfield, long pass. We are in the running formation. We've got two tight ends in the game. Receiver. Not really split out. He's lined up on the left side. Javen in the shotgun going to roll to his left to throw. He's got Boozer in the right flat. He's across the 35, whoa, out of whoa, bounds, whoa. and it tackled way out of bounds. And that's a first down. It's Clay Birch Boutique first down. Move the chains. Of ball care. Juke Boozer caught that ball in the flat left side. Took it out of bounds at the thir- at the 39-yard line. So caught it at the tw- that's a 10-yard completion. Caught it at the 29. Took it out of bounds at the 39. Rockmark, two receivers to the right. Watley in the shotgun drops back to pass. Hits his outside receiver on the right side. C.J. Culver brings it down to the 40. 40- Six yard line. He ran a little inside comeback screen. The outside receiver ran toward the quarterback, got behind the inside receiver, caught the ball. Inside receiver tried to block for him. They picked up seven yards out of that. It'll be second down and three. That was a good catch and, and turn up field there by CJ Culver. He caught the ball running straight back toward the quarterback and then cut it up field immediately, picked up seven yards. Well executed play. 
Two receivers wide left side. The ball's on the right hash. Watley in the shotgun. Going to roll to his left. We're going to throw it again. He's got a man open. That's cover at the 48. He's out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Two catches in a row by C.J. Cover. They mark him down at the 42, move the chains. And that's a Clay Birch Boutique first down. That's a good throw and catch. Javen Watley rolled to his left, had plenty of time. C.J. Cover ran just, he was an inside slot receiver that time. Jacket line doing a good job giving Javen some time to let the play develop. Culver went downfield, turned to his outside toward the sideline about five yards downfield and caught the pass. Two receivers wide right, one to the left. Watley drops straight back to pass under pressure immediately. He goes to his left. He's going to run. He's across the 40, 35, runs through a tackle at the 30-yard line. He's out of bounds right there. (laughs) He gave that young man a shoulder before he went out of bounds, though. That was a bell ringer there for sure, right before he stepped out. The corner, that's another first down. Move the chains. It's about a 12-yard carry to the 30-yard line. Watley did that scrambling. He was looking to throw, but he was under pressure immediately. That's a Clay Birch Boutique first down. They carry Southern Fried Cotton Tees and Hats for both men and women. Ball at the 30-yard line, two receivers to the right. Watley in the shotgun, got two wing backs and a tight end in the game. Bring a wing back in motion. He's going to throw it again. He's got a man going down the middle of the field, and he overthrew him. He had Jai Pinson open in the middle of the field from the wing back spot on the right side. He was open right down the seam in the middle of the field, and nobody covered him, and he overthrew him. He saw it wide open, probably thought he might have get a touchdown out of that, and he overthrew him just a little bit. Second down and 10. Our Culver, Culver exterminating high school scoreboard update got Cartersville now up 14 to nothing over McNair, trying up 14 to nothing over R. Murchie, and tied up here, uh, Jacket 7, Heard County 7. Watley in the shotgun, and there's a timeout from Heard County with a minute and 49 seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. Score tied 7 to 7. We'll be right back. At Family Savings Credit Union, we understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Need a loan? Just fill out an online application during halftime and get back to the game without missing a minute of action. Go to FamilySavingsCU.com, call, or stop by any Family Savings Credit Union location to get started today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal opportunity lender. Lewis Motor Company, guaranteed credit approval while you wait. That is what you get at Lewis Motor Company in Rockmart. Being the oldest car dealership in Rockmart, they know what quality used cars and customer service means. Go by Lewis Motor Company and see their updated inventory at 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. Don't forget to ask them about their guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Get your bronze on. Visit Totally Bronze Tanning Salon at 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart to get that beautiful bronze look. Totally Bronze Tanning Salon has a very clean and cool facility with a safe, well-lit parking area. For a quick tan, they have sunless spray tanning. Call them today at 770-684-3003 for an appointment or go by 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart. All right, Watley in the shotgun, takes a snap, rolls to his right, hits Juke Boozer right flat. He's out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Boozer was covered by two men. He was still able to make the cut and catch the ball in front of both of them and picked up yards after the catch. It'll be third down and two yards to go. We've got to get it to the 20. The ball's at the 22. Trying to get my glasses cleaned off. They're fogged up. It's hot. A minute 40 on the clock here in the first quarter. Tie score. Rock Park threatening again. Two receivers left. Watley in the shotgun, got to get a first down. He's going to give it to number 30, who cuts up field. He did get the first down, rolled over a defender, and got to the 17-yard line. That was a Clay Birch Boutique first down. Go by and see Tracy at 1705 Nathan Dean Bypass. Review their products on their website at www.theclaybirch.com. The ball carrier was freshman Lanier McCrary, lined up in the wingback spot on the right side, took that speed sweep to the left and cut it up field right in the middle. And uh, picked up a first down. It's first and 10, Rockmark. Two receivers to the right. Two wingbacks in the game and a tight end to the right side. Watley going to give it to a wingback going right. He cuts up field inside a couple of blockers. Picked up short two yards. Maybe three. 
It'll be second down and seven yards to go with 58 seconds on the clock in the first quarter. That Ball was, is inside the 15 at the 14-yard line. That was number 10 there, Makai Floyd on the carry. Second down and seven. We'll get one more play probably here in the... All right, Rob Mark, ball at the 14-yard line. Two receivers to the left. Quarterback in the shotgun. Bring a man in motion going left. Watley to throw. He's got Boozer left side who steps through a tackle, and he's going to pick up about three yards. He caught the ball behind the line of scrimmage, tried to run over a man, but the kid hung on until he could get help. We picked up three yards out of that. It'll be third down and four yards to go. It's another good throw by Watley. And Boozer made a good catch, but it's third and four. And we're going to be coming to the end of the first quarter. Rockmark tied seven to seven with Heard County here at the end of one down here in Franklin. Discover better banking with Century Bank of Georgia. We are dedicated to building strong, long-term relationships with our clients. Invested in our communities, we proudly support numerous local businesses, schools, and nonprofit organizations. Century Bank of Georgia, we want to be your bank. Contact or visit us today. What kind of cake will they serve at your retirement party? Chocolate? Red Velvet? Because whether you plan to retire in 15 years or 50, a State Farm agent can help you take charge of your retirement and help make it seem like, well, a piece of cake. Sherman Ross State Farm Insurance, here to help and serve you. Call them today at 770-684-3500. Hello, Jacket Nation. I'm Chris Miller. And I'm Steve Miller. And we are Alvis Miller & Son Funeral Home and Crematory. Our family's been part of Rockmark since 1954, and we have been serving you at the funeral home since 1981. My dad is a 1971 graduate of Rockmark High School, and I'm a 2005 graduate of Rockmark High School. We are proud supporters of our community and Rockmark High School athletics. From our family to yours, go Jackets. Alice Miller & Son Funeral Home and Crematory, Rockmark's only locally owned and operated hometown funeral home. Hey, Jacket Nation. Coach Parson here, head football coach of the Rockmark Yellow Jackets. Set the standard. All right, we're back here. Uh, Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard update. Jackets 7, Heard County 7. At first quarter, uh, the Rockmark rent on scoring drive. The Jackets on two plays uh, scored on a uh, four-yard touchdown run by Javen Watley. And Rockmark trying to score here again. It's third and four. The ball at the 11-yard line. Watley takes a snap, rolls to his right. He's going to throw the ball, and it's complete to Juke Boozer, who walks into the end zone. The outside linebacker was covering him, and he went for the ball. He tried to undercut the throw. There is a flag down, and this one's coming back. They're going to get us for holding back at the seven-yard line. Watley was rolling to his right. That holding penalty was to the back side, and that's going to back us up. Boozer around a little out pattern, and the defender was following him, and he cut up, tried to undercut the throw instead of trying to make the tackle. Easy, after he caught it, it was an easy walk into the end zone, but it comes back. It's going to be third and 10. Ball all the way back to the 16-yard line. 17-yard line, third and 10 now. Two receivers wide to the right. Watley in the shotgun. He's got Makai Floyd left side in the wing back spot over there behind the tight end. We're going to run it, give it to him, going right. Makai Floyd is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. They were all over that. We tried to run the speed sweep and catch him off guard, maybe thinking we were going to throw it. They were all over. It's fourth and 12, maybe 13. We're going to kick a field goal. They just boxed us in on that left side. They saw that coming, was in the backfield before he almost got the ball. It's kind of a late handoff. Looked like a quarterback read option, and he decided to give it to him. And the defenders were all over it. Fourth and 13 now. And Cooper Janzetic to kick the extra, to kick the field goal. This will be a 28-yard. And he line drives it into the line of scrimmage. Heard County picks it up and runs with it. It gets it down to the 30-yard line. He line drive that kick right. It didn't get four feet off the ground. Hit somebody and a 
Heard County picked it up. They'll have it at the 30-yard line. So the score remains 7-7 seven to seven with 11.06. It would have been a 38-yard field goal. The tee was set down at the 28-yard line. So Heard County has it now at the 30. And our defense is going to have to come up here and stop them. You hear the band of Heard County right in front of us. They're going to send two receivers wide to the right. They're in the I formation, quarterback under center. Little short guy squats down right up under that big center. Gets it, hands it off to his fullback. Quick dive play. That's the second time tonight they've run that play. He picked up maybe two yards, and it'll be second down and eight. One of the Heard County linemen runs off the field after losing his headgear on that play. Ball at the 32, it's second and eight. Number 50 there for the Yellow Jackets, Jamal Thompson there on the tackle. Heard County still in the huddle. Breaks the huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage, two receivers to the right. Send two receivers wide right. Tight end lined up on that side as well. He's up under center. He's going to give it to his tailback, trying to go let right. And we stop him, big number 50 with the tackle. Who's number 50, that's Michael? Jamal Thompson, that's his third tackle for the night. Jamal Thompson stopped him at the 33-yard line. It'll be third and seven. I'll tell you, that number six is a is a hoss back there for them. He is. He almost bounced that outside, but Thompson had him around the legs and wouldn't let go. Third and seven. Heard County comes to the line of scrimmage, taking their time. Two receivers to the right. The ball at the 32. It's third and seven. They're right in the middle of the field. Hurd's going to have to take a timeout. Their coach didn't like what he saw. We'll take a quick timeout as well. Score still tied seven to seven with 9.55 on the clock in the second quarter. Termites, wasps, ants, roaches. Do these words bring fear to you? If so, put an end to these fears by calling Harrelson Termite and Pest Control. Being the largest pest control company in Polk County, they can rid you of your fear of these words and bring a smile to your face. Call today at 770-684-1488 to schedule an appointment. Drop off the... Bumper! Kids, run. Downpour! To the bank, go to work, pick up. Squirrel! Kids, then go home. With Michelin Tires, you'll be ready for the unexpected. And for a limited time, get up to $100 via your reward card after submission with purchase of four new 18-inch or larger Michelin Tires or $50 via your reward card after submission with purchase of four new Michelin Tires 17 inches and smaller. Go to the experts at McNabb Tire & Wheel, 522 Goodyear Street. See michelinman.com slash promo for complete details. Offer expires 9 19, 19. Void where prohibited. Now back to the game on WZOT 101.9. All right, Rob Mar with a big third down play here. Third and seven. Heard counties with the ball at the 33. Rob Mar needs to stop them right here. They send three receivers right. Quarterback's going to run it out of the shotgun. The receiver moved early. They didn't call it. Quarterback rolls to his right, and we tackle him at the 29. And they lost four yards. That's the first loss. That's, that's the first loss of the night. That's a Berkeley Mays Boutique drop for a loss. You have everything to gain at Berkeley Mays Boutique for quality children's clothes. Clothing. I believe that was number 50 again on the tackle for Jamal Thompson, right? It's a big play by the Rockmark defense, forcing a, a punt here with 9.25 on the clock. Heard County to punt. Fourth and 11. Punter takes the snap, gets off a low line drive, pitiful punt, but it bounces out of bounds at the 35. He got pretty good result out of it, but it never got over about five yards high. <laughs> no, uh, right at head, head level. And and he, they made sure that they were not going to kick it to Duke or to uh, Javen back there. I've got a uh, an update on the Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard. Got uh, Cass up seven to nothing over Woodland Cartersville. Still up fourteen to nothing over McNair and. Uh, as soon as I can get some more scores in, I will let you know. But Culver exterminating, just like the Jackets, setting the standard in pest control since 2001. Rockmart with the ball at their own 35-yard line. It's on the right hash. It's first and 10 with 9.14 on the clock here in the second quarter. Game tied 7-7. to We send C.J. Culver wide right. Juke Boozer wide, uh, wide right. Culver was left. We give it to Makai Floyd running the speed sweep going to the right. And uh, he gets one yard out of it. 
he fought for that one yard. It's second and nine. He had a host of uh, Braves there on the line just wrapping him up. Heard County with big defensive linemen. They play four of them, play a 4-3, and they are massive. Rotmark to the line, a receiver wide left, one to the right. Quarterback in the shotgun, Watley to throw. He's got a receiver open right side. That's Boozer, caught the ball, and he's knocked out of bounds up at the 30, 46 yard line. Maybe 47. 47 yard line, that's a Clay Burt's boutique first down. Moves the chains. We hadn't had much success running against that big defensive front, but uh, they haven't defended the pass well yet. They are. They're gonna make us throw it. They're playing their corners 10 yards off the line of scrimmage and we're taking advantage of that. Boozer split to the right, short side of the field. CJ Culver wide left side. Now Reed Couch goes out on the left side. Watley to throw. Throws it quick to Boozer who couldn't corral it. He tried to run a little seven yard curl to the outside and it goes off of his fingertips. That ball got there before he was ready for it. it. Was, uh, yeah, Javen took one step and threw it. It was a timing pattern. And the quarterback was slightly ahead of his receiver but he got two hands on it. He could have made that catch. Two receivers to the left. Boozer in the slot. Culver out wide. See, Javen Watley in the shotgun. He's got wing backs. Tight end right side. He's going to run it to the right side. Cuts up field. Comes back left. He's across the 50. And he's down at the 49. One of those linebackers came up and caught him from behind at the 49-yard line on the Heard County side of the field. It'll be third and six. Two receivers go out to the right side this time. Rockmark kind of a little hurry up. No huddle here. C.J. Wide, Boozer in the slot. Makai Floyd at one of the wing backs. Jai Pinson at the other. Watley in the shotgun. Drops back to pass, rolls to his right. He's going to run it. He's across the 50, 45, cuts up field to the 40, steps inside a tackle at the 30, outside 20, 10, got a block at the goal line, touchdown, Shaven Watley. What a run, 49 yards from the line of scrimmage. He rolled to his right to throw and took it in, dodging tacklers. 49 yards for a score, makes it 13 to 7. He had multiple Braves there, the defenders running in circles as he was juking and jiving all the way to the end zone. He broke ankles on that run. <laughs> 49 yards, and we'll attempt the extra point. With 6.58 on the clock. What a run. Cooper Janzetich to kick. There's the snap, the hole, the kick is up, and this one is no good. He pushed it right, makes it 13 to 7 with 6.58 left in this second quarter. If you are experiencing headaches, back, neck, or leg pain, Dr. Douglas Mitchell can help you get back to your peak performance through modern chiropractic practice. Mitchell Chiropractic and Wellness is located at 111 Felton Drive in Rockmark. Visit their website at www.mitchellchiropractic.org or call the scheduled appointment at 770-684-4963. Lamar Sports Center is back. New name, new location with the same great service. Stop by Lamar's Trail Shop for all your outdoor needs. We have a fully stocked archery shop, fishing supplies, and live bait are available. Get bowed up. Lamar's Trail Shop, 2463 Cedartown Highway, Rockmark, or just call us at 770-684-9147. And now more exciting Rockmark Yellow Jackets football on 101.9 Hometown Radio. All right, Rockmark to kick. I thought Lamar's was a bike shop. John Purser Allstate kickoff here. Janzetich kicks it low, bounce and kick, rolls down it to the five yard line. They pick it up and come left. He misses a man at the 20 and he gets down all the way to the somewhere. It's about the 25, I believe. They go mark him down at the 24. He stepped around the first tackler at the 20 yard line. Who made that tackle? I believe it was number 27 for the Yellow Jackets, Daquan Banks. All right, Rockmart rent on scoring drive summary. The Jackets started at their own 35-yard line, and on 
Uh, five plays capped it off with a Javen Watley 49-yard touchdown run. Extra point missed. Put the Jackets up 13-7 to on your Rotmart Red Dawn scoring drive summary. And they need to stop Hurd County here. Hurd County deep in their own end zone, uh, territory at the 24. Quarterback going to give it to his tailback coming to the right. And he's outside. He's to the 30, cuts up field, and gets to the 35. There's a cut there's splinter a, flag on the play. Yes, flag. That's back in the area where it might be holding. Tackle made there by number 26 for the Yellow Jackets. So that would have been a first, very close to a first down. That's going to be a Cotton Splinters flag on the play. Don't get on the naughty list. Santa's watching at Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop. Go down there tomorrow. They're having a festival downtown, uh, right downtown Rockmart. So go down and visit all the shops down there. Ball spotted back at the tw- at the 19-yard line. Ten yards marked off. For that holding penalty at the 29, it's first and 15. Heard County, the Braves send three receivers wide to the left. Quarterback in the shotgun, got a single back in the backfield. He's going to give it to him. He runs a draw right up the middle. He's going to be tackled at the 28-yard line. Brought down by number one there for the Yellow Jackets, Jai Pinson. That's a big hole they opened up. He picked up about nine yards. It's second, uh, 10 yards rather, it's second down and five. Our uh, Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard update got Cartersville now up 16 to nothing over McNair. Calhoun up three to nothing over Sonorville. So Heard County in a very manageable second and five after a nine yard or a 10 yard run on that first and 15. Quarterback in the shotgun, brings a man in motion to the right side. Going to give it to the tailback again. He's trying to go left, and we bottle him up at the line of scrimmage, and there's a flag on the play because one of our men did something very stupid there and jumped up in the air about five foot high when airborne. and came down on the pile, and they should know better. Tack, uh, the tackle made there by a host of Yellow Jackets. Yeah, because he was he was already tackled he was way late. The kid was tackled. He jumped up about five feet in the air and dove into the pile. It's going to be a personal foul on the personal Jackets. Personal foul gives them 15 yards. We stopped it. It would have been third down and long. And now they got a first down, move the ball to the 44-yard line. No excuse for that. Ball at the 44-yard line. Heard County with a first down, and that was a gift. 5.33 on the clock. Clock running here in the second quarter. Rockmart leading 13-7, to seven, but you can't give them anything, and we just did. Two receivers to the right. They're in the eye formation. Quarterback in, uh, right up under center. Going to give it to – fake the handoff to his tailback. He's going to throw. He's under pressure. We got sack him. him back at the 40-yard line. So we got a couple of those yards back, maybe four of them. And it'll be second and 14. I believe that was number 24 for the Yellow Jackets, Daquan Banks. And that is a Berkeley Mays Boutique drop for a loss. You have everything to gain at Berkeley Mays Boutique for quality children clothing. Well, drop for a loss, a sack. I tell you, if I was hurt, I wouldn't try to throw it. I'd just hand it to that tailback and wear him out tonight. They send two receivers wide to the left. Quarterback is going to be in the shotgun. They got a new quarterback in the game. Different quarterback this time. He's going to give it to his tailback. He comes to the right. We hit him at the line of scrimmage. He gets two yards out of it, maybe three, and it'll be third down and 11. Third and 11. I don't know if the quarterback was injured on that sack, but he's all. He, he took a the pretty game. good hit on that. And they brought in a different quarterback. The ball at the 43. It's third and 11. Number 21 there, Patrick Gardner for the Yellow Jackets with the tackle. They're on the right hash, moving from our left to our right. Quarter, Heard County breaks the, t- the huddle. They're going to run it out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the left, wide side of the field. Quarterback in the shotgun, got the single back standing right beside him to his left. He's going to run to his left, looking to throw. Now he's going to pull it down and run. Cuts up field, bounces off the tackle. Fumble. Fumbled it. Pick it up, Rob Mark. We did not. It's down at the 45-yard line. They got a first down out of that. We were trying to run with the ball. We had about three guys trying to scoop it up instead of just falling on it. Another mental mistake on this drive. 
Hard lick, knocked the ball out, and they got it back. That was pain cover with the threat there, the, the poke that knocked the ball out of the guy's hand. It's a Co- good job by Payne. Culver laid a lick on him and knocked the ball out, and it rolls down to the 45-yard line. First and 10, Braves. First and 10, Hurd County. They come to the line of scrimmage with eight seconds on the play clock. Receiver goes wide left, one to the right. They're in the eye. Quarterback gives the handoff to his tailback, and he is knocked forward down to the 40-yard line, and it'll be second down and seven. Second and seven. Second and three, rather. He picked up seven yards. Ball at the 38-yard line, 38, second and three. Getting kind of late here in the first half. Rockmart leading 13 to seven. It's second and three. This is a big play. They put in a new quarterback. We knocked a starter out of the game. They're in the eye. Quarterback under center. He's going to give it to his fullback, who's hit at the line of scrimmage, and he did not get the first down. He picked up a yard and a half. He needed three. They say he got two. It'll be a big third and one here. Tackle made there by number 47 for the Yellow Jackets, Reed Couch. Third and one. Clock running, 2.15 on the game clock. Heard County brings the play in from the sideline. Big number four. He's got to be a tight end. He's huge. Heard County looks to the sideline. They come to the line of scrimmage with 14 seconds on the clock, on the play clock. They're in the power set. One receiver to the left. Quarterback in the shotgun going to run it to his right. He runs behind some blockers and gets down across the 30 to the 28. He picked up six yards and got a first down out of it. So Hurt County with the ball at the 28 yard line. First and 10 right there. Rock Martin needs to stop him here with a minute and 33 seconds on the clock, leading this thing 13 to seven. Hurt County trying to score late in the half. Quarterback in the shotgun. Takes a snap, gonna give it to his tailback who's got a hole coming around the right side. He pushes a man away from him and gets down to the 19 yard line. He stiff armed the would be tackler who rode him out of bounds after a nine yard gain. That stops the clock with a minute 14. A minute 14. That was Deidre Gibson with the push out of bounds there. Second and one, the ball at the 19. They need one yard for a first down. Heard County moving from our left to our right. Power formation, two, they're in the eye. Two tight ends in the game. Quarterback under center, takes a snap, pitches it right, just a pitch. He gets to the 15 and we tackle him there. They say he got inside the 15 to the 13. Clock stops momentarily so they can reset the chains. They got a first down. It'll be first and 10 from the 13. They're in the hurry up. Running their two minute offense. They come to the line. They substitute their tailback. Big number six limps off the field with 50 seconds on the play clock, game clock. Quarterback in the shotgun now. Two receivers left, one to the right. He's going to give it to his tailback who comes a little counter to the right and he's going to score from 13 yards out. He took one step to his left and countered back to the right. And he's had a pulling guard to that side who sealed off the edge. And he followed him around the right side. Heard County scores to tie this thing 13 to 13 with 36 seconds left in the half. And Heard to attempt the extra point. If they kick it, they'll be leading us 14 to three and they're gonna get the ball to start the third quarter. They set the tee down at the 10 yard line. They're going to attempt the extra point. Bad snap, got the hold down. The kick is good. Heard County leads it 14 to 13 with 36 seconds left in the half. Hello, I'm Melton Moss. Freeman Harris Funeral Home has been serving the funeral needs of our friends in Rockmart and surrounding area since 1942. 
Today, we remain committed to provide caring professional service while creating memories that honor the lives of those we love. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, 770-684-6551. A Plus Storage Solution is your local Weaver's Portable Building and R&B Metal Structures dealer in Rockmore. They also sell dog kennels and a variety of trailers, including dump trailers. Get your portable building faster at A Plus Storage Solutions. They are located just a half mile south of Rockmart High School on Highway 113. Stop by and see Jim or call them at 678-883-2006. Now back to the game on WZOT 101.9. All right, Heard County to kick. Leading now 14 to 13 with 36 seconds left in the half. Stay tuned at halftime for the Nathan Dean Agency halftime uh, report. We'll be sending it back to the station. Brian will be giving you the updates tonight of all the scores going on from around the area. We got Javen Watley, Juke Boozer, and Keelan Pitts back deep to receive this kick. If I were them, I'd kind of bounce it on the ground with 36 seconds left, let somebody touch it. And somebody took a timeout, Heard County did, and they're probably going to talk about their strategy. I don't see where you wouldn't just skid it across the ground and because uh, I got a feeling Coach Parson will probably might take a knee and go in. Yeah. And the noise you hear is the Heard County band. I don't know what they're yelling, but they are not paying any attention to the game. They're huddled up down here in the end zone yelling at one another. <laughs> they're getting ready to perform. I guess and, they're getting pumped uh, up. The noise reverberates off of this brick building that we're standing under the ledge of. We're setting out outside on kind of a porch out, out of the side of the press box. And I don't see a real press yeah, box. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's over there on, on down from us, but... Tomorrow, be sure to go downtown. Uh, they'll be having a, a festival downtown. Uh, right there, uh, they go block off a portion of Main Street, and uh, you can go down there. And they got, I think there's about 30 or 40 vendors down there and entertainment throughout the afternoon. So go down there tomorrow and support our local businesses. Heard to kick. They took their la- their, they, they took their last uh, time out of the half to they got get the brand. right people on the field, and they still didn't get the right people on the field. Who's got who is kicking? They moved it over there Wait. to the left hash, and the kicker takes about a three-step drop. He's going to kick it straight up in the air, I bet, or straight down at the ground. we got three men back deep to receive. Watley comes walking up to the 25, and they kick it long. Jai Pinson, going to Keelan Pitts rather to his left. He's at the 30, 35, get out of bounds and give us a play at the 20, 29 second mark. He's out of bounds at about the 36 yard line. That was a good return there it by was. Keelan Pitts. He caught it going back. They just kicked it deep. Uh, and, the girl, Rommart girls softball won tonight. They're up in, I think, Chattanooga. They play number four uh, in in the state in 4A, uh, Maris tonight, and the Jackets won 5-2. to two. So congratulations uh, to the girls' softball. And they got, uh, I think they got some more games coming up tomorrow. Rockmart with the ball at the 37-yard line on our side of the 50. Got 29 seconds left. Two receivers right, one to the left. Watley in the shotgun. Going to drop back to pass. He's going to try to throw it. He rolls to his right. He's got to run it now. Get outside and get out of bounds, and he's tackled from behind. We'll have to take a timeout with 20 seconds. Nope, they don't call the timeout. 17 seconds. Come on, call the timeout. 14 seconds, and we're going to let the clock run all the way to 13. He was down at 20, and we waited seven seconds. Second down and two. Ball at the third, at the 45. Javen almost got to the sideline there. Man, yes, he, had a, he had one man to beat. We had let seven seconds run off the clock. That's a play. They put another point three back on. Because the Jackets, how many times? Well, they, they put they, they ran it back we, to 18. They put one. five seconds back on there. So coach was calling for the timeout immediately. And we've got two more timeouts. Yeah, he just used our first one. Yep. 
So they tackled him at the 22nd mark. He got it called with 18 marks. So good job by the coach there. Now girls softball, they're playing um, in a tournament. Just got uh, the uh, LFO tournament this weekend. So they just so, defeated Maris. So somebody corrected you there. They did. Yeah. Ball at the right hash. Two receivers to the left. We get that a lot. We do. <laughs> Second down and two. Watley in the shotgun. If he tries to run with it, he's got to go all the way. There's just 18 seconds left in the game. Watley in the shotgun. Two wing backs, two receivers left. He's going to drop back to pass. He's under pressure. Get rid of it. He's trying to go left. And he cuts up field, and he's going to be sacked. And with nine seconds left, we'll take the time out. Ball all the way back to the 38. We'll have to go deep on this one, guys. Nobody blocked for him on that play. He was under pressure immediately. Rockmark took the timeout. It'll be third and nine. It was like the, the, the defensive line just walked straight through our line on that one. It's like we were trying to set up a little screen uh, pass. A little screen pass right behind the line. Of the, we released it, and there wasn't a running back to throw it to. Uh-uh. <laughs> There was nobody there. <laughs> that was not the play. They just didn't block for him. But that's what it looked like. It's just kind of a jailbreak. Yeah. All four of those big defensive linemen were through there immediately. And uh, he just trying to scramble around and finally got on the ground with eight seconds left. Rockmark took the timeout. We got one sec- one more timeout. So the Jackets down 14 to 13 here with eight seconds left in this first half. And, uh, Heard County gets the ball when we come back out to start the second half. They do. That so it'd be be nice to tack on seven here. That hold that uh, holding call on the touchdown that was called back is coming up big here. We scored that third touchdown, but a holding penalty brought it back. We're going to send one receiver right, one to the left. Now Reed Couch a tight end walks out to the right. Watley in the shotgun. Picked up a block. Now he's going to throw it. He's got Juke Boozer right, and he caught it. Nope, he did not catch it. It's incomplete with .3 seconds on the clock. There should have been a little more than that, but it doesn't matter. It's fourth down and nine. I tell you, the the front there for the Yellow Jackets, that offensive line done a great job holding off the defensive line there for Heard County for Javen, giving him some time back there. Heard County got a man down over there on the sideline where he jumped up trying to defend that pass. He broke up the pass. Watley made a good throw. We'll take a quick timeout here with .3 seconds left in the half. Jackets down by one point. It's 14 to 13. At Family Savings Credit Union, we understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Need a loan? Just fill out an online application during halftime and get back to the game without missing a minute of action. Go to FamilySavingsCU.com, call, or stop by any Family Savings Credit Union location to get started today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Opportunity Lender. Now back to the game on WZOT 101.9. All right, so I don't understand that, but they've just said that it's halftime. Hey, I don't understand. The, the that clock. pass was incomplete with about a mi- one point something seconds. 1.8 seconds. And, and it then, ran down to point three, and they waved it off and said, no, it's halftime. I don't understand that either because they were uh, – there was definitely time for one more play, but the referee went over and told, told Coach Parson – that was it. So I mean, it, it doesn't send them to the dressing rooms. You, you don't have much of a shot there. You got to throw the ball 60 yards for a touchdown and get it in the end zone on one play. But still, you yep. hate to feel like you got cheated out of a chance. Yep. Uh, All right. Well, we go wrap it up here for this first half, and uh, and we're gonna take a quick break ourselves, and we're gonna send it back to the station. Brian's going to be giving you the updates on all the scores from around the region. Thanks for tuning in tonight. And here it's 14-13, to Heard County leading Rockmart. You've been listening to exclusive coverage of Rockmart High School Yellow Jacket Football on WZOT 101.9 Hometown Radio. Presented by the Nathan Dean Agency, Armor Realty, Fast Track Car Wash, John Purser Allstate, 101 Church, Michael Tenney Main Street Realty, Dean Presley, Florida, Haskell Lawn Care Service, Floyd Medical, Brad Graham, and Taylor Transport.
the wait is over. It's game time on WZOT 101.9. This is Rock Mart High Football. Presented by the Nathan Dean Agency, Armor Realty, Fast Track Car Wash, John Purser Allstate, 101 Church, Michael Tenney Main Street Realty, Dean Presley Floyd, Pascal Lawn Care Service, Floyd Medical, Brad Graham and Taylor Transport. All right, we're back here at uh, Franklin, Georgia, where the Jackets are down 14 to 13 uh, over the Heard County uh, Braves tonight. And uh, the Jackets um, started out the game pretty hot. Uh, got the ball, took the kickoff, the opening kickoff, and uh, to the, our own 34-yard line. And in two plays, um, it was a Javen Watt. First play was a Javen Watley uh, to Juke Boozer, a 62-yard pass, and then. Uh, down to the four-yard line, and then Javen Watley finished it off with a four-yard touchdown run on the Rockmart Rent on scoring drive summary. And uh, we uh, we got Michael down there. We can see him at a distance. Uh, he's trying to get to Coach Parson. So as soon as we get to him, uh, as soon as he gets Coach Parson, we'll send it down there uh, to you. But uh, to him. But uh, it's been a a battle tonight with both teams and. Uh, the Jackets coming in here playing a, a tough Heard County team tonight. They are, and to win tonight, they're going to, and I see some lightning. It may be heat lightning way off in the distance. If anybody's got the little meter out, they may put a stop to this game here. Hopefully they don't. But um, to win tonight, they're going to have to play mistake-free football, and it hadn't been that so far. They had a holding call on a touchdown throw that brought the touchdown back. Uh, if well, we had we, we had would a, have been leading on that. We, we had, had a holding, uh, yeah, on us. That, that was on us. That, yeah, that was on us. And then we had a uh, a 15 yard unsportsmanlike like on a on a where we might have stopped them. We yeah, gave them 15 we, yards and gave them a first down. Because deep. we had them, we had them down then. Yeah, we had them stopped and uh, down about the 30-yard line and gave them 15 yards and a first down, and they ended up driving it down the field and scoring to, to take the lead. And, and so two big mistakes there by Rockmart, one on a holding penalty, which is a, you know, a holding call is just in the heat of the battle. You know, it's a mistake, but, right. but it's in the process of the play, and so you can't fault the kids for a holding penalty. It, it, holding happens on every play, and it's just a matter of whether they call it or not. Hey, we got Michael down there with Coach Parsons, so uh, let's shoot it down there and see what uh, Coach has got to say about this. Michael? Down here with Coach Biff Parsons. Coaches, Braves are up 14 to 13 over the Yellow Jackets down here tonight in Heard County. Been a tight ball game so far. Yeah, it's uh, it's disappointing, and it's my fault. I'm the leader of this thing. Uh, we got to figure some things out. Obviously, it's a lot of internal issues we're fighting. Uh, we're not playing Rockmart football. That's the bottom line. Um, a lot of individuals, and it starts with a head football coach, and, and we're going to see if we can fix it in the second half. Thanks, Coach. All right, well, there you had it uh, from Coach Parson, and and I figured he wouldn't be happy about that first half. No, and, I, and, and you know, you heard their emotion in his voice, but I think what you heard most of all was his voice cracking after probably uh, talking pretty uh, loud to the team <laughs> yes. at halftime. They didn't go to the locker room. They went into the side of the hill over here. Uh, it's a, it's probably a, a quarter mile up to the locker room or more, and uh, they didn't climb that hill. They stayed down close to the field, and I don't imagine Coach had many good things to say to them at halftime. They made some mistakes, and, and boy, I tell you one thing about Coach Parson. He, he's – He's a leader of this team, and he takes ownership, whether it's good or bad. And you heard it there with the halftime interview. He, he's taking ownership. We talked about it, making mistakes. And some of the penalties shouldn't be, shouldn't have happened. And, and he said it. They got some yeah, internal you take, issues. You take those careless penalties by us away, and we score a touchdown, and we probably hold them back there because that would have shot it to third down and long back there. Yeah, uh, and, and we didn't see the holding penalty that brought the touchdown back. But like I was saying as we went to that interview, you know, a holding call is a holding call. And, and, and just about every play he's got holding somewhere out there. You can't really fault the kid for that. Uh, if he's given the effort, I mean, it, yeah, if he lunges and just 
not eff- make an effort and grabs hold, that is. But, you know, if he gets his hands on the outside and, and, and doesn't let the, the defender go quick enough, then, yeah, but some of the penalties tonight were inexcusable. Yep. We're going to take a break. Coming out of halftime here, score 14-13. to 13. Coach wasn't happy. We'll see what it looks like second half. Lewis Motor Company, guaranteed credit approval while you wait. That is what you get at Lewis Motor Company in Rockmart. Being the oldest car dealership in Rockmart, they know what quality used cars and customer service means. Go by Lewis Motor Company and see their updated inventory at 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. Don't forget to ask them about their guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Questions about your retirement deserve more than just a call center. Let Steve Kinney, your local Edward Jones financial advisor, show you the difference personal attention can make when it comes to your goals. Contact Steve today, 678-685-6444. That's 678-685-6444. Personal attention. That's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Now back to the game on WZOT 101.9. All right, Cooper Yontetich to kick after Coach Parson has challenged his team at halftime. This is going to be a John Purser All-State kickoff. Jontic kicks it low, line drive kick, bounces at the 10, fielded at the 4. He comes to the right, cuts up field, and he's hit at the 26. Pretty good tackle there, open field tackle kind of. Kid uh, lowered his shoulder and got in there. He's hurt a little bit. Okay. He's going to stay out there. We'll see uh, We'll see uh, what what his number is. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Number one, Jai Pinson on the t- He's okay. Heard County with the ball at the 27-yard line. They're going to send a receiver wide to the left. Man comes off the sideline late. They got three over there left side now. Quarterback in the shotgun. Gives it to the tailback going to the right, and we stop him at the 28-yard line. Very short gain, maybe a half a yard. It'll be second down and nine, more lightning off in the distance. I couldn't tell. What number was that, David, that got that tackle? On that play there, the yeah. last play, I couldn't tell. We're, we're we are pre- a long way from the play. We're down at one end of the field, and the bugs are biting us. <laughs> Under these lights, they found us. Two receiver wide left, quarterback in the shotgun. Starting quarterback still not in the game. This kid can run. Quarterback in the shotgun. He's going to give it to his tailback who bounces it outside to the right. Stiff arms a man going out of bounds at the 37. That's Dietrich Gibson there. It'll be third down and two. Third down and two. Heard County with the ball at the 35, rather. That's Dietrich Gibson there Just stop. Just across the 35. And those backs are quick getting out of the backfield. Kind of remind me of our speed back there. And he bounced that one out and got around the end on the right side of his offensive line. And our cornerback chased him out of bounds. Hurd comes to the line. Hurries out of the huddle. Quarterback under center. Single back in the backfield. Receivers to the right. Now he's going to step back, look to the sideline. They're going to change the play. Three seconds on the play clock. He gets it off. It's a tall sweep to the right side. Plenty of blocking. And our safety had to come up and cut him down at the 47-yard line. That is a well-executed play. They ran the tall sweep and uh, tall sweep to the right side. Our cover exterminating high school scoreboard update. Uh, it's tied up at uh, Bremen and uh, Bremen and Cedartown, seven and seven to seven. Job Pinson on that last stop for the Jackets. Heard County to the line, ball on the right hash. Quarterback walks up under center, two back, nope, he's in the shotgun. He's got two backs in the backfield, gives it to his tailback who is hit behind the line of scrimmage. We got a man in there quick. Number 50 missed him, but got a hand on him. Number 55, rather, missed him. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line, was, second and 11. That was Keelan Pitts got a hold of him, number three. And that's a and that's a Berkeley Mays boutique drop for a loss. All right, I'm coming back around. We got two poles right in front of us, and we keep having to move to be able to see the field. Guys, we got some breeze blowing. Quarterback got up under center there at the 45, second and 11. He's going to toss sweep right side, jumps over a tackler, and got a yard out of it. 
He jumped over the first tackler, number 50 with the tackle. Jamal Thompson there for the Yellow Jackets. Jamal Thompson on the tackle, the ball on the right hash. It's third and 10. This is a big third down. They tried to run the tall sweep to the right, and we stopped it at the line of scrimmage. Good job by the Jacket defense. Playing 3-4. Deacon Allen playing nose guard in there tonight after getting injured a couple of weeks ago. Quarterback under center in the eye formation, gives it to his tailback. He's hit immediately. He's going to be dropped for another Berkeley Mays drop for a loss. Nope, that's Cotton Splinters. Who, who, who's no, Berkeley Mays. Berkeley Mays. You have everything to gain at Berkeley Mays Boutique for a quality children's clothing. It's fourth and 12. He dropped him for a one-yard loss back to the 44. Who's sponsoring the uh, punts? Anybody? Nobody, but that was a good job by the Rockmark defense coming out strong this second half. They're going to punt from the 44. High snap. We almost block it. He short-legged it. It bounces at the 25. Javen picks it up at the 15. Steps away from the first tackler. Picked up a block down the sideline to the left. And he's hit at the 38-yard line. There's a flag. It's going to be a block in the back. We picked up a good block at the 20-yard line, but there was another one there where a guy got it, blocked a guy in the back. It wasn't a bad one, but he did get behind him, didn't get his head in front of him. Flags laying about the 23-yard line. And that one is coming back. That's a pretty good run by Javen. And Javen got the ball. He just kind of held it for a second and kind of juked him off and made a good, good return out of it. And it'll be first and 10. The ball will be spotted back at the 14. That's about where what 13. That's about where Watley picked it up. 7.57 left here in the third quarter now. And uh, Rotmark still needing to score to take the lead again. It's 14 to 13. Heard County over the Yellow Jackets. First and 10. The ball deep in the Heard County Brave territory. Rockmark comes off the sideline after that change of possession following the punt. The clock says 8.40 now, so they've changed the time on the clock. Rockmark in the shotgun. Three receivers, right side, bunch formation. They bring a man in motion, McCaff Floyd trying to get in there behind them and run the ball. They string it out, picked up one yard on the play. We had those three receivers bunched up on the right side. We gave it to the wing back trying to get in there and go that way. And the Heard County just kept stringing it out toward the sideline, and it's second and nine. McKay only picked up one yard. We're going to sit the ball on the right hash at second and nine. We split C.J. Culver wide left. The ball sitting at the 14-yard line. Juke Boozer wide right, short side of the field. Watley in the shotgun. He takes a snap, going to drop straight back to pass. He's going to throw quick to Boozer, right side, and he caught it, going out of bounds. Picked up a first down. And that's a Clay Birch Boutique first down. That's a good catch. That ball was thrown to the sideline, and Boozer made a catch with his hands, reaching out away from his body to catch a ball pretty hard thrown for a 12-yard gain. Took it to the 24, 10-yard gain, rather. First and 10, we're going to drop back to pass again. Got a receiver open down the middle of the field. He overthrew him and went for the man on the outside. What a throw, though. And did they throw a flag? They did not throw a flag. Boozer was the intended receiver running a fly down the right side. We had a man inside of him running down the hash who was open. Quarterback didn't see him and attempted to throw it to the outside receiver. It's second down and 10. Boozer was well covered. The ball was thrown a little high, and the, the, the defender was able to have plenty of time to get there, get turned around, and, and uh, play the ball well. It's second and 10. Watley in the shotgun, two receivers left. Brings a man in motion going to the right. He's going to run it. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, but he got away across the 30, 35. He's got running room down the sideline, 40. 30, Javon Watley, 10, touchdown, Javon Watley, touchdown, Rockmark, and we lead this thing 
19 to 14. Man, what a run from the backfield. He was hit immediately behind the line of scrimmage. Somebody got in there and hit him. He stepped away from the hit, got through the line of scrimmage, and went all the way down the sideline. That was a 76-yard touchdown run. 76-yard run by Javen Watley. After he crossed the 50, there was nobody in front of him. And that's a McNabb tire touchdown. When he broke contain, he had some blocking downfield by his receivers. We're going to attempt the extra point. That one's good. We've missed one tonight, but that one's good. Makes it 20 to 14. Rockmart over Heard County with 724 left in the third quarter. That was a McNabb tire touchdown destination end zone for the Jackets. You can reach your destination safely with quality Michelin tires from McNabb Tire. 522 Goodyear Avenue puts the Jackets up 20 to 14 over Heard County. I tell you, if you get Javen in the open field, it turns into a track meet, and there ain't really nobody around that can catch him because he's, he's got some motors. He does. He's a fast kid, and he just outran everybody. But really, after he passed the 50, nobody had any, an angle on him even. Right now, uh, Javen's got 161 yards rushing on the night on seven carries. And probably and, over 100 yards throwing. Yes. You know, right, you, right now, Juke Boozer is sitting on uh, six receptions at 103 yards. He's completed one to, to Culver at least, maybe two to Culver. Yeah, Culver has got uh, two receptions for 19 yards. There's That's a good kick. kick. It's a good kick, and it bounces into the end zone. we got a touchback, guys. That was a great kick by number 17, Janzatic. There got all his leg in that one. All right, our scoring drive summary, our Rockmart Rent on scoring drive summary. The Jackets started on our own 13-yard line. And on three plays, Javen Watley finishes finishes it off with a 76-yard touchdown run. Don't drive out of town for savings on furniture, bedding, and appliances. They're right around the corner at Rotmart Rent to Own. Heard County to start this drive on their own 20-yard line with 7:21 on the clock here in the third quarter. Way down at the 20-yard line, quarterbacks under center. They're in the I formation. Two receivers left. They're just going to run the quick handoff to the fullback who bounces it outside to the left and gets six yards out of the carry maybe seven they just ran the quick handoff to the fullback between the guard and the center on the left side of the line and he bounced it outside picked up seven yards at second down and three I hope that lightning gets farther away if not it's going to be a long night here in Erd County yeah because that's number that's heat lightning, it ain't a storm. Two receivers left, quarterback in the shotgun. They're in the eye. Heard County takes a snap, quarterback gonna fake the handoff, run it to Reed. his right, and he's gonna be tackled by Reed Couch back, way back at the 21 yard line. That's a, Reed gets credit for a sack. Uh, that wasn't Reed, that was number 27, not 47. That's Daquan Banks. So Daquan Banks on the Berkeley Mays Boutique drop for a loss. You have everything to gain at Berkeley Mays Boutique for quality children's clothing. Reed was in there, but Daquan made the first contact, I believe. He tried to fake the handoff left and roll to his right, kind of a naked roll out to the right and uh, looking to throw, but uh, Rockmart all over it. Clock running, set, six seconds on the play clock as Heard County breaks the huddle. They're going to have to hurry to get the ball off. Quarterback doesn't know it, and the coach had to take a timeout. Heard County does with six minutes exactly on the clock. It's third down and nine when we come back after this break, leading now 20-14. to 14. Hey, Rock Mart. Jake Bailey here, your jacket ball boy on Friday nights, and I take my job very serious, just like my dad and his crew over at Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter right across from RHS. Everybody wins at Dave's. Tell them Jake Bailey sent you. Is your financial strategy personalized for you and your family? Will your financial advisor be there as your life and financial situation change? When you work with Steve Kenny, your local Edward Jones financial advisor, he focuses on what's important to you. You'll work together and use an established process to create a personalized financial strategy backed by the advice, tools, and resources to help you reach your goals. And you'll partner to help your strategy stay on track. Contact Steve today at 678-685-6444. For Edward Jones, member SIPC. Hey, Jacket Nation. Coach Parson here, head football coach of the Rockmart Yellow Jackets. Set the standard. 
All right, Rock Mart leading 20 to 14 with six minutes exactly on the clock here in the third quarter. Heard County with the ball at the 21 yard line. Quarterback takes a snap, drops back to pass, throws it to his right. He does not have Come a on. man open and it's intercepted. Deidre Gibson. They're gonna return it, 50. He's gonna cut to his left to get down to the 38 yard line. The quarterback just threw it up for grabs. Number 26 for Rockmark. Diedrich Gibson, great catch there, great interception. He had a he had a step on the receiver, and he ran back and caught the ball over his shoulder, and he's kind of cramped up over there after that return. He limps off the field, but he's going to get off. He'll be all right. That was a Dang. good good catch over the shoulder for him too. Poorly thrown ball. The quarterback just threw it up for grabs. He threw it four yards out in front of his receiver, and Gibson just ran it down, caught it over his shoulder, and returned it to the Rock to the Heard County 38-yard line. I tell you, um, Diedrich get, having a great game here. If, I, if my math's right, I've got him down for five tackles unassisted. Rockmark comes to the line of scrimmage, needing to hurry to get the playoff. Five seconds on the play clock. And Rockmart has to take a timeout. Coming out of that interception, they were not ready. We're going to take a quick timeout ourselves. Welcome to the Mini Morning News Show, where we are so excited about Chick-fil-A's chicken minis for breakfast that we've minified the news. In real estate news, tiny homes for those who like everything within arm's reach. In culinary news, micro food, because, you know, small plates. All right, thanks for listening. Now go put some mini in your morning with the chicken you love for breakfast. Chick-fil-A's chicken minis until 1030 a.m. Barnes Insurance Agency offers car, home, health, and life insurance at affordable rates. They offer numerous auto insurance companies so they can get you the best coverage for the lowest rate. They offer tax services year-round. Call today for a free quote. Barnes Insurance Agency, 512 East Elm Street in Rockmart. Now back to the game on WZOT 101.9. All right, our cover exterminating high school scoreboard update uh, Brian shooting me these scores. Got uh, Pepperell up 10 to three over Heritage. Got our uh, trying up 34 to nothing over our Murchie and Cedartown and Bremen tied up. Rockmart moving from our right to our left. Two receivers to the left, short side of the field, and they whistle the play dead. I think we had illegal motion. Somebody moved early. Somebody moved early, and they're going to back it up five yards. Coming out of that interception, Rockmart huddled up like it was a timeout over there on the sideline, called the play from the sideline, took way too long. They came on the field with about eight seconds left, and they were playing the, over the loudspeakers. They were playing that music, and our offensive linemen were dancing coming on the field, and Rockmart, nobody knew there was only seven seconds on the play clock. Javen Watley takes a snap, throws a receiver screen right side. Juke Boozer to the 40. He's tackled at the 32. Picked up eight yards. Good tackle in the open field there by the Heard County cornerback. And it stops it. It'll be second down and about three yards to go, maybe two yards to go. Keep walking, man, with the flag. Ball at the 30-yard line. That's an eight-yard reception by Juke Boozer with five minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Here in the third quarter, Rockmart leading 20 to 14, needing to extend that lead. Watley in the shotgun. He sends Juke Boozer wide left. Reed couched in the slot left side. CJ Culver wide right, short side of the field. He's going to roll to his left. He's under pressure, just has to go up the middle, crosses a 20, cuts to his left, runs over the tackler at the 12 yard line. He's going to be down at the 11. Move the chains. That's a first down. That is a Clay Birch Boutique first down. Go by and see Tracy at uh, 1705 Nathan Dean Bypass or go to www.theclaybirch.com. I tell you, Javen Watley not not scared at all to lower the boom when he's running the ball straight on. Yeah. Look like, little like they knocked over the referee out there too. <clears throat> It'll be first and 10 at the 12-yard line, at the 11-yard line, 12-yard line rather. Watley in the shotgun, going to roll to his right. He's got a man at the three. Boozer is going to be pushed out of bounds at the two. It's going to be close to a first down. Juke was lined up wide right, ran a little five-yard curl to the outside. There is a flag on the play. It's late. Late flag on the play. One of the Heard County players pulls another one away. Not sure who said what. 
Second down and one. The ball spotted at the three. We'll wait and see who this is on. Rockmark thinks it's on the Heard County. Four minutes and 22 seconds. A ball out of bounds at the three-yard line. Second down, but it's a penalty on the play. We'll see what it is. It'd be half the distance to the goal, and they are going to mark it off. Personal foul against Hurt County. And that's a Cotton Splinters flag on the play. Go by and see Michael downtown at Cotton Splinters, and uh, he'll get you fixed up on a some something that you need down they there. should make it a first down, but they hadn't changed the down marker yet. Ball's at the one-and-a-half-yard line. Watley going to run it to his left, and he'll walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Javen Watley. From the two-yard line, he throws the ball to the official and goes back to the huddle. Good job, young man. Good run. Good score. Rockmart leading now 26 to 14. I tell you, that old line doing a good job there, giving him the room to walk that ball in. They did. They sealed off the left side of the Rockmart offensive line, sealed off the edge. Watley had an easy run into the end zone and scored from the two-yard line, making it 26 to 14 with 419 on the clock. Bring a man off late off the sideline. We're going to go for two and try to get that missed extra point back. Watley in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right. One of them is huge. We're going to roll to the right and kind of throw it left. We didn't fool anybody. They sack him. We had Deacon Allen lined up in the slot on the right side. I don't know what we were trying to run because nobody blocked. We needed Deacon in there blocking. And that All makes right. it 26 to 14, up by 12 points with 419 left here in the third quarter. Our Rob Martin Red Zone scoring drive summary. The Jackets uh, started that drive on uh, Herds County 38, got a penalty on the first play, took us back to the 43. Uh, and then on six, five plays, Javen Watley finished it off with a two yard touchdown run. The, the uh, try for two was missed there, so the Jackets 26-14 to 14 over Heard County. Rock mark to kick. The ball at the 40-yard line. Cooper Yontic had his first touchback on the, on the last kickoff. They cut off that loud music. Yontic to kick. Man back it. deep at the two-yard line. He's waiting on the officials to blow the whistle. There it is. He gets his foot into it. High kick, fielded at the five. He brings it to the right, right up the sideline. He's across the 20, runs through a tackle at the 25. He's out of bounds, and they're going to throw the flag on somebody back at the 16. I believe it's going to be an illegal block. He carried that ball out to the 30-yard line, tried to lower his shoulder and run over somebody right on the sideline. And that is a Cotton Splinters flag on the play against Heard County. Don't get on caught on the naughty list. Santa's watching at Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop. If that's what it is, that was a pretty brutal hit there on that yellow jacket. Uh, it's either going to be an illegal block in the I think back. It's a block in the back. Yeah, or it's going to be an unsportsmanlike, unnecessary roughness. It was well behind the play. Either way, he'll mark it off from the 15. It'll be half the distance of the goal. I did not see I think, what the I think it was, was a block in the back. I think that's what he called. I, I couldn't I, tell what number it was, but a yellow jacket kind of went flying back there. It was, way Peyton, back it was Peyton Marsh, number five, who was blocked in the back. They send two receivers wide to the left. Quarterback for Heard County walks up under center. This is the second string quarterback. He takes a handoff and they fumble it. Robert it. fell on it at the 16. He mishandled the snap, and uh, Rockmark's got it at the 16-yard line. Wow, what a what a break for the Yellow Jackets! 4:06 in the third quarter. I tell you what, whatever Coach Parsons said to them over there on that bank, well, it did some good when it because they have came out alive this second half. I, I was telling y'all between the breaks there, I got to hear a little bit of that. And that, that they would probably be a different team second half. Ball yeah. spotted at the 15-yard line. I got a Culver exterminating high school scoreboard update. Cedartown and Bremen got caught in a lightning delay, and so they have just now went to halftime tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. That's those, probably what we're seeing is their lightning. Two receivers to the right, wide side of the field. Bremen was hopeful to win that game. 
quarterback in the shotgun. He's going to drop back the pass, going to throw the little screen to the back out of the backfield. He's at the 10, and he runs over a man at the 5, and he's down at the 3. Boy, I thought he was going to get to the goal line. That's a good catch and run there by Keelan Pitts, number 3 for the Jackets. We lined two receivers up in the slot. We rolled the wing back out over there, kind of ran a little wheel route, a short wheel route, and we hit him trying to set up a screen. And that, that was another Bur- um, Clay Birch Boutique first down for the, the Jackets. He had one tackler. It was a safety come up and met him at the five, and he just tried to run through him, got it down at the three. Watley in the shotgun, takes a snap, going to roll to his left, and he's got a man open in the end zone, and he wasn't able to come down with the ball, and it's interference. Interference on the play. And there's a man down. He's hurt. That kid with Third County is rolling around. He's injured. His teammates going to try to help him up. They're going to call him off. There'll be a timeout on the field. The officials call him for help. I don't know what's the matter, but it didn't look good. He's in pain. We attempted a, uh, to try to throw a little uh, pass, a jump ball in the back of the end zone, and uh, he grabbed the hand of the receiver and didn't let him catch the ball. They're going to take a timeout. We will as well. Hey, it's Mike. My team just pulled off the biggest upset ever. And some fans are getting crazy. They even flipped over a car. Turns out it's my car, though. But I don't want to be upset right now. I want to know State Farm's going to take care of this, right? We got you covered, Mike. Yes! Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Contact Mary Miller at 1340 Chattahoochee Drive in Rockmart. Now back to the game on WZOT 101.9. All right, back to the game. Rockmart with a first and goal after an interference call on the penalty in the end zone. Watley in the shotgun. Going to roll to his left. He's going to run it this time. He's hit it to two. He doesn't go anywhere else. They grabbed his feet and hit him up high at the same time. Knocked him back. I think he's down at the one. They're going to say he got all the way to the one. It'll be second and goal from right there. Rockmart leading 26 to 14 with two scores already in the second half, trying to get another with three minutes left in the in the second in the third quarter. Juke Boozer wide left. Watley in the shotgun. He's gonna run left again, follows his blocker, steps outside, shakes off a tackle and scores from the two from the one yard line. Rockmart now leads it 32 to 14. They had a tackler grab him up high at the goal line, and he just kind of shook him off. Scored with 2.49 left in the third quarter. Rockmart leading now 32-14. to 14. We're not going to chase points this time. We're going to kick the extra point. Jan's that, to kick. And that was a McNabb tire touchdown. Destination end zone for the Jackets. Jackets to attempt the extra point. Bad snap. The hold was good, and the kick is good. That ball rolled back to the holder, but Payne Culver got it down, and Janzic got it up. It's 33 to 14. Rockmart leading Heard County. Is your thermostat breaking your wallet each month? The reason could be your home is not adequately insulated. Have the experts at TNT Insulation help put money back in your pocket. Call Tim Montgomery today at 770-684-1887 to schedule an inspection. TNT Insulation can handle all your insulation needs, and they specialize in spray foam insulation. Termites, wasps, ants, roaches. Do these words bring fear to you? If so, put an end to these fears by calling Harrelson Termite and Pest Control. Being the largest pest control company in Polk County, they can rid you of your fear of these words and bring a smile to your face. Call today at 770-684-1488 to schedule an appointment. And now more exciting Rockmark Yellow Jackets football on 101.9 Hometown Radio. And this is a John Purser All-State kickoff. Whether you're kicking tires for a new car or you need coverage for home or life, you're in good hands with Allstate. And Jan Titich to kick. Gets his foot into it. Kicks it all the way to the five, and it's going to roll to the one. They finally pick it up. Comes up the sideline. We miss him at the 10, and he's down at the 22. There's two flags on the play, and it's against Heard County. And that's another Cotton Splinters flag on the play. Now, the illegal block against the Braves. It's whole, uh, illegal block in the back at the 20-yard line, 19-yard line. That'll take it back somewhere around the nine, half the distance. Marked off about the nine and a half if 
if they can count. I tell you, Coach talked about his adjustments there at halftime, and, boy, the Jackets look like they've made a few so far as this second half. And they can't count. They spot it at the 10. We get a lot of them that can't count during these Friday night ball that games. Half the distance of the goal from the 19 is not the 10-yard line. Receiver wide to the left. Heard County's quarterback is in the shotgun. You know, I said last time he was a new quarterback and he fumbled the snap. We'll see. He runs a quarterback keep to the left this time. And he's hit by the safety and the defensive end. And he picked up the first down. Good run by that young man. Picked up 12 yards to the 22. And our Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard got Jackets 33. Heard County 14 here with two minutes and 30 seconds left in this third quarter. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow, Cotton Splinters is helping sponsor an antique festival downtown Rockmart. Go by and see all the vendors from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Rockmart leading the Heard County Braves. Atlanta Braves leading the Nationals. Heard County quarterback under center. He's going to give it to his tailback going left. He bounces it outside. And he's hit it to 25, gets to the 30, and that's where he's going to be down. He didn't get the first down, but it's going to be close. It'll be second down and about a yard or two to go. Good run by the ball carrier. Kind of late developing play. Quarterback ran back and handed it to him deep in the backfield, but he still got nine yards out of it. Almost a draw play. Tackle made there by a host of Yellow Jackets. Second down and one, the ball just across the 30. Two receivers to the right. They're in the I formation, quarterback under center. He's going to take the handoff, gives it to his fullback. And I believe that was a read option play, and he's going to get close to the first down. He crossed, he's at the 31. I don't believe they may have to measure this thing. They may have to measure, no, no no, word yet. I believe they're going to say it's third down. Third down and about a half a yard to go with a minute left in the third quarter. Big play, big play for uh, Rockmart here. One official saying it's a first down. The other hadn't moved the ball. Official's going to take a timeout and talk about it. One official saying it's signaling a first down. They're going to bring the chains out, surely. We'll take a timeout as well with 56 seconds left in the third quarter. Rock Mart leading 33 to 14. Questions about your retirement deserve more than just a call center. Let Steve Kinney, your local Edward Jones financial advisor, show you the difference personal attention can make when it comes to your goals. Contact Steve today, 678-685-6444. That's 678-685-6444. Personal attention. That's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Lamar Sports Center is back. New name, new location with the same great service. Stop by Lamar's Trail Shop for all your outdoor needs. We have a fully stocked archery shop, fishing supplies, and live bait are available. Get bowed up. Lamar's Trail Shop, 2463 Cedartown Highway, Rockmart, or just call us at 770-684-9147. Hey, Jacket Nation. Coach Parson here, head football coach of the Rockmart Yellow Jackets. Set the standard. So thankfully they measured it. The head, the head official was signaling the first down. The other official didn't think it was. They didn't move the chains. They brought them out and measured it, and it's third down and about a foot and a half to go. We need a drop for a loss on this play. Clock running, 18 seconds on the play clock, 50 seconds on the game clock. Heard County in the shotgun formation. Bunch formation to the right. They're going to run it. They moved. They leaned forward. Illegal motion against Heard County. That's another Cotton Splinters flag on the play against Heard County. Cotton Splinters, one of the uh, vendors tomorrow downtown sponsoring the Antique Festival. Go by there from 10 to 6. Uh, got about 30 or 40 vendors down there along with uh, entertainment all day. Back them up, boys. They lined up two tight ends on the right side. One of them is number four. He weighs 245 pounds. <laughs> and uh, they were going to try to run it behind him. And one of them moved on that side. And so it's third and six now. Ball back at the 26. Heard County's quarterback's in the shotgun. 
He's got a single back with him. He takes a snap, drops back to pass. He's under pressure immediately. Throws it long. Overthrew his receiver by 10 yards down the right side. He was under pressure. Deidre Gibson great on the coverage there. He was going after another interception. Yeah. Yes, he was. 55 was in there applying pressure immediately. I tell you, we talked about that Heard County line being big. We're, we, they're tired. They're tired right now. They we are. are we are getting the jump on them at the line of scrimmage. And there again, that's what we've talked about all season. And, you know, even during the beginning of the season is Rock Mart's athletic, athleticism on the lines and how – what kind of shape they're in. And there was some kind of penalty. We missed that all together. So that's a, we declined the penalty. The cotton, the, the co- cotton, cotton splinters, splinters, splinters flag on the play. The cotton splinters flag on the play, and the penalty was declined. It's fourth and six. Heard County to punt from the 27-yard line. Javen Watley back deep to receive at the 42. Punter hadn't kicked it very deep all night, but he kicks it low, and sometimes he gets a good bounce. Ball at the 26, a bad snap, or we going to block it. We just barely got it off. It bounces again at the 50. Watley picks it up at the 38. He's trying to get to his left. He gets to the 43, cuts back to the right. He better go, and he's down at the 43-yard line, and the clock winds down at the end of the third quarter. Rockmart leading 33-14. to 14. Get your bronze on. Visit Totally Bronze Tanning Salon at 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart to get that beautiful bronze look. Totally Bronze Tanning Salon has a very clean and cool facility with a safe, well-lit parking area. For a quick tan, they have sunless spray tanning. Call them today at 770-684-3003 for an appointment or go by 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart. What kind of cake will they serve at your retirement party? chocolate red velvet because whether you plan to retire in 15 years or 50 a state farm agent can help you take charge of your retirement and help make it seem like well a piece of cake sherman ross state farm insurance here to help and serve you call them today at 770-684-3500 drop off the bumper kids run downpour to the bank go to work pick up squirrel kids then go home with Michelin Tires, you'll be ready for the unexpected. And for a limited time, get up to $100 via reward card after submission with purchase of four new 18-inch or larger Michelin Tires. Or $50 via reward card after submission with purchase of four new Michelin Tires 17 inches and smaller. Go to the experts at McNabb Tire and Wheel, 522 Goodyear Street. See michelinman.com slash promo for complete details. Offer expires 9 19, 19. Void where prohibited. Hey, Rock Mart. Jake Bailey here, your jacket ball boy on Friday nights. And I take my job very seriously. Serious. Just like my dad and his crew over at Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter, right across from RHS. Everybody wins at Dave's. Tell them Jake Bailey sent you. All right. Thank you to all our sponsors, Jake Bailey, you included. Two receivers wide to the right. They're stacked up over there, and we're going to give it to a wingback going left, and he's down after a four-yard gain. That may be the most yards we've gained out of that speed sweep tonight. Number three with the carry. It's Keelan Pitts. Keelan Pitts on the carry. There is a flag on the play. I think. Officials talking about it. Rockmart walking backwards. They're going to set the ball down at the 49 yard line. Personal foul. Personal, personal foul against Rockmart. I didn't see it. I don't know what it was, but 15 yards is marked off again. I didn't see it, but I don't like it. 11 minutes and 36 seconds left in this ball game, leading 33 to 14. There should be no personal fouls. That makes it first down, and second down. That's after the play. That's the second one tonight. So it's after the play, second down and 20. Two receivers to the right, same formation. Watley going to throw it this time. He's got a man running right down the middle of the field. That's number three, and he's down at the 45-yard line. Keelan Pitts there on the grab. It was a great catch there and just turned it right upfield. They were all focused on the two receivers wide to the right, and we released the wing back right down the middle of the field. And Keelan Pitts caught it and carried it to the 40-yard line, and if the ball, if the tackler hadn't have got him around the ankles, he'd have scored. And that's another Clay Burt's Boutique first down. They carry Southern Fried Cotton Tees and hats for men and women. We split the receivers out on the left side this time. Got Boozer in the slot, C.J. Culver out wide. 
Pitts right side, Makai Floyd left side in the wing back. We're going to give it to Floyd. Coming around the right, got a blocker. Cuts inside of him, made a good cut, got to the 28-yard line. That's number 55 running out there in front of him, pulling guard. Came out there and, and blocked for his uh, for his running back. That's big Sherman Davis, and he's pulled a lot tonight. Sherman Davis. That's another uh, That's Clay first, Birch Boutique first down. 13 yards on the carry. And the last six or seven of it was because Sherman Davis pulled from the left guard position to the right side and got out there and, and uh, laid a block. The ball carrier cut inside of it. Take the snap, give it left this time. Jai Penson trying to get around the left side, picks up a block from his receiver, and he needed another one. He only got a yard. But his receivers were trying, both of them over there, Boozer and Culver, were trying to block for him. He needed one more blocker. If he had, if he had cut it, he, yeah. he, I believe he could have got by that I, guy. I was thinking Second, the same thing, Mark. He second went. down and nine. He had had to found a little seam. If he had cut in behind that first receiver in the slot position, he might have found it up, got upfield. Second and nine, ball at the 34, at the 26. Watley in the shotgun, 12 seconds on the play clock, 9.40 on the game clock. Watley brings a man in motion, going to drop back to pass, and he throws it out in the flat on the right side to Reed Couch, who catches it at the 20, and he's down at the 16-yard line. Reed Couch, that's his first completion of the night. Reed Couch with a big stiff arm there, too. He, he, so. he came out in the flat, just drunk. He, he ran that play. He was lined up left side and, and ran a crossing pattern all the way across the field. And he got out here in the right flat and Whiteley hit him. Well thrown ball. Picked up another first down. Clay Birch Boutique first down. First and 10 at the, at the 16. Whiteley in the shotgun, takes a snap, goes to his left, looking downfield, under pressure, going to throw it, sidearm throw to back in the end zone to Jew Boozer. Touchdown, Rockmart. What a <laughs> throw by Wadley. That's a McNabb tire touchdown, destination end zone for the Jackets. He threw that thing sidearmed on a rope, buddy. I mean, he threw it in there on the line. And Boozer was between two defenders in the back of the end zone, and Wiley shot it in there to him. Talk about execution. I mean, he sidearmed that ball and threw it hard into the back of the end zone, right into the chest of Boozer, who caught it for a touchdown. There's the extra point. It's up, and it is good, making it 40-14. to 14. With 8.52, we are going to win this ball game throwing the ball tonight. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he, he threaded the needle there through uh, that Heard County defense to hit Boozer uh, on that 16-yard touchdown pass. Uh, Robert rent on scoring drive summary. Uh, the Jackets started on their own 43-yard line, got a penalty on the first play to back it up to the 33, and then the next uh, four plays capped it off with a 16-yard touchdown pass from Javen Watley to Juke Boozer. I hope, uh, I hope we done a good job – Telling you what was going on because, and, folks, it was uh, and something to see right there. Duke tonight has uh, – he's got 184 uh, yards. No, 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 no. Uh, as far as receiving goes, he has 135 yards. And, and, and uh, that last catch, you know, Coach said in one of the, the, the coaches' shows before the season started that Watley wanted to throw the ball. He, he did. didn't want to run the ball. And you could tell at that time, he kept scrambling to his left, bounced it out away from the guys putting pressure on him. There's the kick. John Purser, All-State kickoff. John Purser, All-State kickoff. They're going to return it to the 25, 30. We drag him down by the sleeve at the 33-yard line. That's number 16 there for the Yellow Jackets with a tackle. Wally kept just bouncing it out away from the guys trying to tackle him, putting pressure on him, and, it, and just whipped it sidearm into the back of the end zone. Terry and Webb. All right, we got 8:44 left in this ball game. Jackets up 40 to 14. Stay tuned for uh, the post game show brought to you by All Star Motors. We got Robert Tordline and Eric Brownlow and Brian sitting down at the station, just eager to get this thing going. Rockmart leading 40 to 14 with 8:44 on the clock. Heard County 
in the shotgun. Two receivers left. They give it to the tailback going to the right, and he is hit at the line of scrimmage by number three. Keelan Pitts on the Keelan tackle. Keelan Pitts on the tackle. I tell you, this uh, jacket defense and this jacket offense put it in high gear here in the second half. And we've got some fresh numbers in there, giving our guys a break. Got some fresh numbers in the game here late in the fourth quarter, leading 40 to 14. Second down and 10, Hurd County in no hurry. Comes to the line of scrimmage since two receivers left. They're in the eye formation, just the old fashioned eye. Tight end left side, bring the slot receiver in motion to the right. Gonna And we tackled the quarterback as he was trying to hand it off and he fumbled it. Did Rob Mart recover it? We did. We recovered it, number 24 recovered it. That's the freshman. Daquan Banks. Banks with the recovery. The quarterback was trying to give the ball to the tailback and somebody hit him from behind, knifed through there over the center and they fumbled the ball. They had five turnovers last week, but this is a new quarterback and he struggled handling the ball in this second half. With eight minutes left on the game, 7.57 on the game clock. Rockmark comes out first and 10. Two receivers to the right. Quarterback in a shotgun. I think we got a new quarterback in. He takes a snap, going to give it to Jai Pinson. Going left, cuts to the 30, 25, outside 20, down to the 16-yard line. I think that was Watley. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, Wiley said. handed it off to Pinson. Well, we're going to keep the gas mashed here, guys. I tell you, Pinson and Pitts are the same size. <laughs> they are. One of them's number one, the other's number three, and they look exactly the same in uniform and running the ball. Two receivers to the left. Watley in the shotgun. Ball on the left hash at the 17-yard line. He takes a snap, going to give it to the right side. Coming right, Makai Floyd, who's caught from behind. That doesn't happen often. And that's a loss of a couple of yards. It'll make it second and 12, back to the 19. All right, our Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard uh, got uh, here, Rotmart 40, Heard County 14, Calhoun 17, Sonorville 0, Rome up 14 to, nothing, 14 to 7 over Kale. Uh, Pepperell up 10 to 6 over Heritage. Carrollton 13, Villarica 2, Cass 17, Woodland 0. And that's uh, the Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard. Just like the Jackets, Culver Exterminating setting the standard in pest control since 2001. Two receivers to the left, the ball at the 19. We're going to give it to a wing back going left. He got a block. 10. He's outside. And they're going to tackle him out. Did he get a first down? I think he did. Down to the seven-yard line, move the chains. That's number 28 there, Jojo Haynes, a freshman for your Jackets with a great run. Jojo Haynes with a good run. He cut it upfield and then inside a block and then cut it outside, outside of a block, picked up a first down, first and goal at the seven. Two receivers to the right. Running our freshman late in the game here. Watley still at quarterback in the shotgun, the ball at the seven. He's going to give it, coming right to Floyd. He's inside the five. Nope, that wasn't Floyd. Touchdown. Nope, this one's coming back. Number 30 with the carry, Lanier McCrary, freshman. It's holding against Rockmark. The flag is laying at the nine. I don't know how the block could have been at the nine, but that's where the flag's laying. That'll mark it back to the 19. I mean, the play was in front of the line of scrimmage the whole time at the seven. The block had to be somewhere around the five, and they throw the flag down at the nine, and they mark it off from there. Back to the 19, it'll be first and goal from there. All right, wow. so stay, stay tuned for the post-game show brought to you by All-Star Motors, and Robert and Eric and Brian will have you all the scores from uh, the finals around tonight. Mahaji Floyd and... Jakari Clark split wide left. We had two men going in motion at the same time, and they don't. They do throw the flag. We fumbled the snap. I think the flag came in before the play. Yeah. Two flags. Illegal motion and uh, illegal shift. 
It'll be five yards against Rockmart. Six minutes and six seconds left on the clock. Got some freshmen in the game and, and, and two freshman wing backs. They both moved it, or, or one freshman wing back. Both, both wing backs moved at the same time. One of them knew he had made a mistake because as soon as he stood up to move, he, he tried to get stopped, but it was too late. Two receivers to the left. Javen Watley in the shotgun, first and goal from the 24. We're going backwards with 14 seconds on the play clock. Watley going to throw. He's got a receiver screen left side. He's to the 20, bounces it outside. He's down to the 15-yard line, 14-yard line. That's a 10-yard pass completion to Jakari Clark. That's a good catch by that young man, a good run after the catch. It'll be second and goal from the 13. Jakari Clark, a sophomore. So an 11-yard run. Second and goal from the 13. The receivers go to the wide side of the field to the right. We're going to hand it off to a wingback coming that way. He bounces it outside. Five. Touchdown! McCaw Floyd! And there is a penalty. A penalty at the three-yard line. I believe it's going to be holding. We had one of those receivers blocking downfield. And they called him for holding at the three-yard line, number eight, Junior. But he doesn't get to play a whole lot. And he was blocking downfield. And they're going to come bring it back to the 13-yard line. And it'll be second and goal from the same spot again. Run that play again and tell the receiver to keep his fist balled up, not hold. Five minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. Rockmart leading 40 to 14. We've scored 27 points here in the third, in the in the second half. Two receivers wide left. Watley in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Going to give it to Makai Floyd. Going right again. Ten cuts. Runs. Tried to run over a block. Uh, Defender, he's down at the forward, and they keep the clock running. He did not go out of bounds. Five minutes on the clock. It'll be third and goal from the four. We did run the same play. It looked a little different to start. We faked the handoff to the to the wing back going to the left and gave it to Makai Floyd coming back right. And he ran it with no blockers out to the right and got ten yard, uh, nine yards out of it to the four-yard line. Watley in the shotgun, the ball at the four. He's going to take the snap, gives it to Floyd again. He cuts through the blockers and scored. He scored from the four-yard line. He cut inside a block placed by number 30, Lanier McCrary. Touchdown, and that one will stand, making it 46-14 to with 4.30 on the clock here in the fourth quarter, and we'll attempt the extra point again. That's a McNabb tire touchdown. Destination end zone for the Jackets. Makai Floyd with the touchdown run from the four-yard line. Here's the snap. The kick is up. The kick is good. Makes it 47 to 14. Let's take a quick break. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. At Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedartown Highway in Fish Creek. Discover better banking with Century Bank of Georgia. We are dedicated to building strong, long-term relationships with our clients. Invested in our communities, we proudly support numerous local businesses, schools, and nonprofit organizations. Century Bank of Georgia, we want to be your bank. Contact or visit us today. If you are experiencing headaches, back, neck, or leg pain, Dr. Douglas Mitchell can help you get back to your peak performance through modern chiropractic practice. Mitchell Chiropractic and Wellness is located at 111 Felton Drive in Rockmark. Visit their website at www.mitchellchiropractic.org or call the scheduled appointment at 770-684-4963. Here we are for the John Purser All-State kickoff. Kicking it high, filled it at the 10 yard line, he missed it. He picked it up at the 10. Trying to go somewhere, got to the 14. That's a different guy back there. Yeah. 
He was tripped up there by number 28 for the Yellow Jackets, and that's JoJo Haynes. John Purser, All-State kickoff. That scoring drive, uh, that Rob Martin Rendon scoring drive summary, Jacket started on Heard County's 33, and after uh, about three penalties, finally on nine plays, we had Makai Floyd finishing it off with a four-yard touchdown run. That's uh, Rob Martin Rendon scoring drive. Don't drive out of town for savings on furniture, bedding, and appliances. Go by and see them at Rob Martin Rendon. A lot of penalties on that last drive, but it's youngsters. It's, it's, it is. It's second, third string out there making some mistakes. Heard County in the eye formation. The dropped quarterback it. dropped the ball and had to just fall on it. This is the third string quarterback. And he dropped the snap. Trying to turn around, going to hand it off, it looked like, and dropped it as he pulled away from the center. It's second down and 12. They need to put some stick em on them kids' hands. Four minutes on the clock, second down and 12. Rockmart leading 47 to 14. We went into halftime down one point, 14 to 13. They've definitely won the second half. And I think it goes to... Uh, the coaches on Rockmart being able to uh, run, run, dropped it again, dropped it again, he dropped the snap again and lost another two yards. It'll be third and 14. Rockmart scoring 34 points and, uh, here in the second half. Rockmart, uh, the coaches, they have got these guys conditioned good and, and keep. We keep them rotated in and out a lot. We we do, and we talked about the size of Heard County's line. And in the third quarter, they were worn down. We guessed them. They were just worn down in the third quarter. They got a few kids playing both ways. But those big guys on the offensive and defensive line, uh, Rockmore out-conditioned them in the, in the third quarter. Heard County hurries to the line with 10 seconds on the play clock, splits two receivers out. Quarterback going to pitch it, going left with it. He's to the 20, jumps over a, def- a tackler. And gets all the way to the 27-yard line. Number 17, number 20, no, 30 was the ball carrier. Who's that kid for Heard County? I ain't got my glasses on. He hurdled a little the guy. defender, a little He's bitty a guy. Franklin Jackson Man. there for Heard County. He hurdled that defender trying to make an open field tackle. Picked up a first down to the, at the 28-yard line. What a play. Yep. About two minutes, 30 seconds left. Stay tuned for the postgame show. Uh, Brian, Eric, and Robert will be sending, bringing you all the scores from around the region. Great crowd tonight traveled down from Rockmart, so yeah, glad long, to see that. Long drive. Takes about an hour and a half to get down here. Heard County in the, in the quarterback under center going to give it to his tailback who runs it off tackle right side. He's to the 40. Man. Jumped over a defender again. He's down at the 41. He did a 360 in the air. He did. He tried to hurdle somebody that time. And the safety came up and laid a lick on him in midair. I got a um, Culver Exterminating High School scoreboard update. Got trying 41, Armurchi 6. Another first down, moved it to the 41. His coach is going to tell him, son, keep one foot on the ground. Because <laughs> he almost got hurt bad that time, the way he got hit in the air like that. Yeah, he, he does that too many times. Somebody will, will hit him pretty hard. Quarterback under center for the Braves, takes the snap, pitches it to his tailback, who tries to cut up field. He does, and he's down at the 47. We That's say it's at the 49. He didn't get a first down, so they don't stop the clock. That's number 19. I'm sorry, David. That's number 19 for the Yellow Jackets with a tackle, Hayden Hughes. Hayden Hughes getting some of the guys that uh, don't start in the game now. It's uh, second down and three with a minute left in the ball game. Rockmart leading 47 to 14. Heard County not in a hurry up. 13 seconds on the play clock. They send two receivers to the right. This could be the last play. Quarterback under center. Takes a snap. Fakes a handoff. Rolls to his right to throw it. Got a receiver and he catches it at the 38. He's tackled at the 26. Big kid, number 17, big tall receiver. Good throw by that third string quarterback. Tackle made there by number eight for the Yellow Jackets. That's Mahaji Floyd. They move the chains, stop the clock momentarily, but it's running again. They gotta run one more play. 
and the poles ball are at my the way. 27. Heard County with the ball on the right hash at the 27 yard line. 26 yard line. Send two receivers to the left. 17 seconds left in the game. Quarterback in the shotgun. Drops back to pass, rolls to his left. He's going looking to throw, throws the ball into the end zone. There's nobody in the end zone. That's it. Incomplete pass. Clock stops with five seconds. Dad gummit, they had to throw the ball. <laughs> so one more play. One more play. This game will be over. Rockmart leading 47 to 14 after they were down 14 to 13 at half. It's been a great second half for the Yellow Jackets after a up and down first half. Quarterback under center. He's had a little trouble with the handoff. He takes a snap, going to give it to his tailback who goes to the right. He's going to be tackled at the 20 yard line. You guys are all jumping. Rockmart has defeated the Heard County Braves for the second year in a row, pretty handy. Regular season, that's right. In the regular season. Yeah, Rockmart leads 47 to 14 at the end of the game. Rockmart came out, uh, you know, and it was a close first half there. Um, and going in at halftime, down 14 to 13. But, uh, you know, the heat tonight, I mean, it wore down that line. And, uh, and, and our coaches being able to keep keep fresh legs in there all night long has definitely played a part to me in, uh, in this win. i tell you what played a part was whatever Coach Parsons said to the team at halftime. I was about to say, I was down there, you know, trying to get a, an interview with him there after the half, and uh, he gave them a real good pep talk. And I tell you, I was kind of pumped up over there listening to him. And he told them, he said, guys, it's time to dominate the second half. And they came out and dominated the second half. They played – they played good at times in the first half, but some un, just some some mistakes that shouldn't have been made kept them from leading at halftime. But they, they scored 34 points in the second half and get a victory here in Hurt County. I tell you, I'd hate to go home from, from Franklin, Georgia with a loss. Absolutely. Thankfully, we don't have to do that. Rockmart wins it 47 to 14. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up here from Hurd County, and thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, final score here, 47 to 14. The Jaggets big winners here tonight over Heard County. Uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in. I want you to stay with us for the post game show, brought to you by All Star Motor. We got uh, Robert, Brian, and Eric sitting there at the station, ready to go to bring you all the scores from uh, the finals from around the area tonight. Uh, thanks, and everybody be safe heading home tonight. You've been listening to exclusive coverage of Rock Mart High School Yellow Jacket Football on WZOT 101.9 Hometown Radio. Presented by the Nathan Dean Agency, Armor Realty, Fast Track Car Wash, John Purser Allstate, 101 Church, Michael Tenney Main Street Realty, Dean Presley Florida, Haskell Lawn Care Service, Floyd Medical, Brad Graham and Taylor Transport, 